What's going on guys? My name is Jake and today we're going to go over all of the customizations that you can do to your dock. They're going to make it aesthetic, fun to use, and you're just going to love using the dock again. So let's get right into the video. So we're going to start with the basics and to do that we're going to go into our system preferences and we're going to select the dock. Here you can change the size, the magnification if you so desire, then you get that kind of thing. I tend to uh, keep that off, but you can turn it on if you want. Then you can do the positions. You can have it on the left, you can have it on the right. I leave it on the bottom uh, because I have the auto hide um, automatically hide and show the dock. That way it's just out of the way. Um, nobody cares, you know, you, you pull it up just like that. No big deal. And honestly, that's basically all you need. You can quit out of that. If you open up the dock, you can actually come here and you can change the size just by clicking and dragging right there. So you don't have to go all the way into your preferences to make that adjustment. So those are the basics. Now we're going to get into something that is a little bit more complex, but it's probably one of my favorite tweaks to the dock. So you can see that when you hover your mouse down here, it kind of takes a second to pop the dock up and that really annoys me. <laughs> I'm all about speed and efficiency and how fast can I get something done, bit a bit of boom, bang. So with that said, if you open up your terminal app, then we have two codes that we can punch in that are going to make the dock better. So the first code we can punch in here, and I will have both of these in the description so that you can just copy and paste them in. Defaults write com.apple.doc auto hide dash delay space dash float zero bang hit return. And then we are going to paste in the next one that says defaults write com.apple.doc blah 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 point five hit return and then we are going to type in kill all doc with a capital D and hit return. Now, when you go check out this, yeah, yeah, and it's freaking flying out the gate, flying. I love this. Now, I'll show you something funny. You can actually type in like uh, that second code. You can do uh, the five, you can put a five there, whoops. I forgot to kill all doc. Kill all doc. Now you can watch it just slowly crawl out. It's kind of funny. Nobody would ever want to use that. So if we just go back to the 0.5 and then kill all doc, bang. Now you have a super speedy doc. Animation is basically gone. Now on to the next part. We are going to change all of the icons into very fashionable, very stylish, custom-made icons. And, and here's, here's what I really like about this. On my dock, all the icons have a different style to it. You know, you have your Adobe, your Adobe applications, which look pretty, very good together. And then you get like the web browsers, which are kind of good with each other. And then you get a couple system stuff and then it just like bleh, falls apart. Everything. It like, it's a mess down here, you know? So it would be, it would make your Mac workspace so much more aesthetic if you can get if you can nail down the aesthetics across the board. And this is my favorite icon pack. There are 495 free icons here and they all have the a very similar aesthetic to it. Almost kind of have like a 3D effect with the shadow going on the backdrop. Whatever it is, I freaking love it. It looks so good and there are this will cover pretty much anything you need. Now this this pack is free. There's also the Icon Adams who has also some really really nice stuff. Uh, I believe these ones are $15 or they might be a little bit less now these days. 
There are also uh, these app.icns.com, and all, all these are in the description, but another really good pack. I do believe this one is also paid. And then we get these, uh, these Zion icons, also really nice pack, four bucks for this. If you wanna keep it free, definitely understand that. You can get this flat.icns, a flat icon set, also really nice. And then you get the flat OS X icons for the last set that I could find. At least the last set that I could find that I really enjoyed. So to download my favorite one, just click download here. And if you do that, it will come in a zip file. Just unzip the zip file and open up the folder and it will look like this. So the uh, Mac OS takes a .icns file. So all of the icons we're gonna want to use are in the icns. And you can just go and um, we're actually gonna use a tool called light icon. And we are going to continue. Um, and this will, this is a tool that lets us easily change our icons for applications, things like that. So in order to change all of these icons, uh, not just the application, but uh, the folders and like all the system icons, we are going to have to disable the SIP. And then we are going to enable it back after it's disabled using virtually the same exact method. And we're going to go over how to disable the SIP right now all right so in order to disable the sip we are going to restart our computers and we are going to hold command and r whoop, command and r until the apple logo shows up and we got the apple logo we are holding command and the r button I always hate booting into BIOSes and recovery mode. I'm always like, is it working? I don't even know if it's working, but I'm pretty sure it's working. All right. We are, wow, that is bright. Okay, so it will examine your hard drives and then you will have to enter your password. And now we can go up into the utilities, select our terminal, and from here, we are going to type CSR util disable. And then you can see the message pop up. You have successfully disabled the SIP and we can restart our machine. All right, so now that we have the SIP disabled, this actually looks a little bit different. We have our system folders, we have our dock stuff. We have our devices, which this says, highly recommend do not change these. If the text signing is not disabled, devices will no longer appear on the desktop. And we do not want that. And then we get the others, we get document app, blah, blah, blah. And then we have all of our applications. So basically what has to happen is we are going to make the changes that we want, and then we'll have to go to tools, clear the icon cache, and then we're gonna have to log out and log back in, and then everything will be changed. You can also see here under the tools is the restore all system icons. So it is as simple as that to restore them all, or if you wanna just do one individual one, you can just, drag it off and poof, it goes back to normal. So I'm gonna go ahead and change all the icons and then I'm going to clear the cache, log out, log back in, and we will see what happens. All right, so we just did all of our dock and we cleared the cache, logged out, and bang, all of these beautiful icons. Ooh, just look at them. I'm gonna... Go right in here so we can get a nice close-up view. All the Adobe's, all the web browsers, and the system icons just look 
fantastic. I mean, it really makes it gives your dock a very a aesthetic look. It just it feels so good to have everything look the same, you know? They're all designed the same. They're all the it's just it creates a workspace that you are happy with and ready to do work and it's just awesome so i hope you guys enjoyed that if you did be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos just like this peace